like the idea of leaf spine instead of chassis switches as a large campus distribution point. So that's an interesting idea because usually leaf spine you hear about in a data center uh, design for top of rack and so on. Uh, what do we think about using leaf spine as what it sounds like the core of, uh, of basically doing distribution for, for campus? Is that anything you guys have run into? Uh, thoughts and opinions? Uh, I've got some customers that are actually looking at that uh, right now, uh, they're, but they're going to look at that from an ACI perspective. So, uh, you know, ACI multi-site. So it is coming up in the near future. I, I think that's going to start replacing that core uh, distribution access layer switch. Um, and, and I think that's, um, you know, it, it's a little bit uh, cleaner technology from the cloth perspective. Uh, you know, everything is one hop away. Uh, but right now, I think it's, you know, engineers are starting to kind of get out of that uh, true, you know, cla uh, traditional uh, uh, engineer. So it's it's going to have to kind of, I guess, broaden the skill set a little bit and uh, embrace it as far as the uh, the change coming down. So. Mm -hmm. Carl, you've done um, some ACI work, I believe, right? Have you have any take on this? Yeah, I mean, in general, I'm all about getting rid of chassis because I loathe them. So anytime we can just route and just ECMP things everywhere, I'm I'm happy to do that. Um, so I guess, I guess you know traditionally that'd be data center for for everything for most things that I've done. But anytime you can get away from chassis and and have smaller boxes, I'm I'm a big fan of that because it just I I, I hate the kind of god box thing. So I've got this, you know, 6509, the you know, the venerable 6509 that's sitting there. It's impossible to do maintenance on because it's everything goes through it and it's VSS and it's blah blah blah. And if it could just be a bunch of independent boxes that you can just swing traffic around, you know, just with metrics or whatever, um, I'm a big fan of that. So I think even, you know, campus, cool, great, good. If we can do it in a way that makes sense and, and doesn't make it and and just keep it simple, stupid, then then I'm all about it. So from a from a campus design challenge, one of the things that pops to mind is just physical cabling. You know, you're really constrained by geography and buildings being distributed around and having to have a lot of backhaul to if that access layer switch is sitting out in some closet in a remote building, how are you backhauling it to the core, to your spine? Do you end up distributing the spine as well? And what's your risk for split brain there? So these things come to mind, whereas in a data center, you are constrained typically by one vast room that's very carefully controlled and well understood and predictable cabling you really all of that goes out the window in a, in a campus design um any well, other thoughts a, you guys want to add to that well in a sense i mean how many people have have collapsed core and distribution switches now probably a lot so yeah. in a sense from a physical standpoint it's almost the same i mean but you typically have two cores and then you know, redundant links, a link from each access switch to each core. So physically it could still be the same, but um, I don't think, not, Carl, you could get away from chassis switches unless you, you know, at, if you wanted to try to get away from chassis switches, you'd limit the number of ports you could have, or the number of access switches you could have. Um, yeah, the physical part of it, Ethan, is the, is the part that's in, intriguing to me, not so much the, yeah. The management, programming, automation, you know, that part of it, that I, I think is fairly easily solved. So I guess well, that my question see, is why? Why are they thinking of doing this? Well, you see, there's a reason we have chassis switches. And as Denise said, is the port count. And as Ethan said, is the problem of we can only pull two fiber runs from the access switch to the core switch because fiber is expensive if it's not, you know, three meter long. So <laughs> you need... Yeah. 100 ports, you can have two switches max because uh, that's what you have. So what can you do? The only thing you can do is you break apart the two Catalyst 65 or 6800s that you hate and you build a leaf and spine fabric instead of them. So what do you have now? Yes. You have a number of pizza box switches that emulate uh, the chassis switches and it's good because the control plane is simple and can do software upgrades and uh, the supervisors will never be stuck because the other supervisor got crazy. <laughs> but... <laughs> never happened. You have... <laughs> never never happened. happened, of course. So but the person that asked the question gave us... Uh, points instead of two management points. Yeah. So... Yes. We, we do have a qualifier from the person that asked the question um, and, and mentions, I wasn't thinking the entire campus being leaf spine necessarily, just replacing the distribution switch with a leaf spine setup. 
Okay, so he can buy wow. a backpack from Facebook, well, whoever is making them now. And that thing is really a chassis switch with fabric modules being independent control planes and so happy automating. Okay. One, of, one of the things I've seen in campus designs, um, as I've done a few over the years, is that you even if you want to do something as simple as just simply collapse the distribution layer, depending on the sprawl of your campus, again, you're, like everyone has said, you're going to run into out, likely outside plant problems. And depending on how far you want to scale that, you're going to almost certainly end up with inconsistencies in the physical plumbing of that. And so at that point, you have a network that's probably less um, well contained and and less redundantly designed because, you know, this building only has one pair that we can use, but this building has four pairs that we can use. And so you you in my experience, you end up with far more snowflakes than you do when you use traditional design, uh, simply because of those physical limitations like folks have mentioned. Uh, um, the other thing is that having worked on academic campuses, um, simple designs are very hard to accomplish because it's got such a wide variety of things that, need to, that it needs to accommodate. You may have somebody that wants, you know, cross campus VLANs, you may want, but you may want to route down to the access port. So at that point, again, you're, you're getting sprawl into much more, many more snowflakes that are even hard to handle with automation.